Good morning everyone and uh, I am Ganesh Pandian. Uh, today we are going to see human resource management and its introduction. And uh, I have referred the book John M. Ivansevich Human Resource Management uh, 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 Publisher uh, Tata McGraw-Hill Publication. So uh, today what we are going to see is that uh, these are the content we are going to see today. First one is definition of human resource management. Second one, characteristics of HRM. And uh, third one, uh, evolution of human resource management. Third one, objectives. What are the objectives they have? And uh, uh, fifth one, features or nature of human resource management. And finally, challenges faced by human resource management. So this is what these are the kind of content we are going to see today. So let's begin. So uh, what is human resource management? First of all, so human resource is a very important resource in any organization. So human resource is otherwise called as the employees who were working in the organization. Any resource you can purchase or buy by any means but human is the only thing which is difficult to handle than any other resources you can deal with a machine but human factor which is of uh, very outstanding from any other resources that is why human resource management becomes a very interesting topic or uh, a topic of subject for us to study so here uh, human resource management is majorly concerned with effective use of people so that the organization can achieve its goal. So in order to achieve the organizational goal, the organization is using the human part or human resource effectively. So how well effectively they are going to manage and utilize the human resource for their effectiveness. That is what this entire subject covers so previously human resource is called as personal management or uh, it may be under the subject of industrial relations and employee development so all these things which only talks about people management so human resource management which is involved in various activities like a human resource manager having a big role of uh, revolving around the organization and is and he is involved in managing the people because uh, uh, managing any other thing like machines it's very easier easier one but uh, think about uh, uh, managing a human being uh, managing a team of people so that's very very difficult matter of fact so uh, for managing people so these are the activities which were involved in managing the people say for an example first the human resource management ma manager who is responsible for creating the vacancies he has to understand and analyze what are the nature of job an organization carries out so that is why nowadays human resource management gains a significant importance in strategical level not an operational level but a strategical significance it is gaining now so here we are going to see what are these activities or human resource manager is concerned with legal aspects like equal employment opportunity compliances he has to comply with this particular uh, equal employment opportunity uh, aspect and uh, second activity is job analysis and human resource planning so before he is going to recruit a group of person or talent or headhunt in other words he has he has to analyze what is the nature of job and what kind of people he is going to search so in other words we can say that human resource management uh, is 
the concept of uh, placing right people for the right job at the right time so that's how here they have these kind of functions so employee recruitment uh, he he is in concerned with uh, employee uh, employee recruitment selection and motivation and also uh, orientation and not only that his role doesn't confine only selecting the people and fitting the people into the role he is also concerned with uh, a performance measure and also in compensation apart from that uh, training and development and uh, building a labor relations with trade unions if any found or exist in a country and also he is concerned with uh, uh, safety health and wellness so these are many activities or numerous activities which a human resource management comprises of and uh, these are the characteristics or nature of human resource management human resource management is action action oriented because it's it's not an uh, aspect of just analytical or sitting in a laboratory this is an act action oriented uh, uh, area where we need to be in toes to manage people and uh, as i uh, i told you it is people oriented too and also it is globally oriented because nowadays we have many international organizations like international labor organization which has many recommendations for uh, keeping and managing the employees so as human exist in global or worldwide so human resource management is globally oriented we have to align our organization to the global environment so that's a very important task so nature of human resource management it's also a global oriented one and also it is a future oriented not a present oriented or past oriented it all talks about like when you recruit a people or a employee into an organization you put him in a job in a job position you have to forecast the performance of that person to the future too so that's a very important aspect we have to consider so these are the characteristics of human resource manager and uh, we will move to next slide okay now we come uh, to the major part of uh, our subject called evolution of human resource management so uh, this is a little bit the history uh, you may find it little bit boring but uh, if you uh remember these things this will be a very helpful for you to uh, attend in examination point of view so when we trace back to england in uh, uh, nearly 19th century were uh, certain uh, people like masons and carpenters some uh, leather workers where uh, they found uh, they organized themselves into a guild so guild is like a kind of association they formed in that century itself so maybe this is a kind of human resource management uh, they uh, formed in that era but uh, later on uh, in due to the complexity of industrial revolution we know that after that uh, industrial revolution came and uh, many industries have uh, been started by com uh, by countries like britain russia and uh, uh, many places industrial revolutions happen so what happened Uh, there is a uh, distance started to rise between the worker and the owner because traditionally in sole proprietorship uh, workers are supervised directly by the owners so he will have the instant feedback from the workers but uh, uh, due to the complexity of organizations now corporate organizations are there so here Uh, owner will will be maybe at uh, one place and uh, workers maybe at one place. So this also have given uh, rise to the concept called human resource management. There is a need for the start of human resource management. And there are uh, two important things like uh, scientific management and welfare work. These are also two concurrent approaches which gives rise to or pressurized the concept. or emergence of the concept of human resource management so hugo munsterberg 
and his famous psychology book and also industrial efficiency which initiated in the year of 1930 uh, which may uh, be contributed in the field of uh, industrial psychology so that is the start of uh, human resource management maybe it is like so this is a step by step evolution people first before industrial revolutions were ignored a lot uh, because those times only capital and uh, asset and other things were taken into consideration but french revolution and in uh, russian revolution happened uh, all over the world with which shaken and uh, gave a shock to the landlords about the significance of labors and their workforce so these pressured the concept of human resource management and also the bonus started to realize the importance and the significance of human resource so there is a drastic technology increased and uh, in the mid of uh, uh, like in uh, 20th century there are a lot of uh, uh, development in uh, personal department like uh, some people have become an philanthropic and uh, they started to give employees more important uh, importance uh, in their workplace but some uh, people uh, still denied but uh, in the yearly contribution of uh, you might have heard this famous experiment uh, done by elton mayo and uh, fritz rothlitzberg uh, these two eminent person have uh, given an uh, concept of human relations movement and uh, uh, there are uh, certain experiments conducted in the western electric company in chicago called uh, hafton experiment so it is conducted in hafton facility so this mainly uh, conducted uh, to study the impact of illumination on workers productivity but uh, they actually started to study uh, there is if the if, if there is any difference or impact on f- uh, light effect on workers productivity but there is some other factor apart from illumination or light effect which uh, distracted the study so they found out the uh experimenter or uh, the researchers elton mayo and fritz got excited so what is that factor which uh, interfered or interrupted uh, with our study so they found out that factor is called a human factor motivated employees but even under uh, the low illumination or low light very fa- very productively then uh, not motivated uh, or uh, under motivated worker team so this is how human resource management uh, scientifically proved to be an significant topic of subject and uh, very recently peter f drugner told that so human resource job is not just file keeping or record making human resource management uh, should gain the significance as i earlier stated you that uh, a uh, human resource management nowadays gaining and strategic significance so uh, objectives of human resource management so here i have listed the seven objectives of human resource management mainly uh, human resource management is deals with uh, uh, reaching the goals of organization and uh, uh, they employ the uh, they acquire and uh, employ the effective uh, workforce in the organization and also uh, it is objective of human resource management to give the proper training and also give them the salary package and also uh, they have to be uh, mm, uh, uh, responsible for uh, uh, having and maintaining an ethical policies and socially responsible behavior and uh, many uh, inter related or subsets of human resource management subject have now arisen like human resource development organizational development like many uh, uh, subsets of hrm have nowadays become popular and uh, uh, features or nature i uh, already uh, we have seen that uh, uh, this is an people oriented and uh, action oriented 
so human resource management it's yet another like uh, any other management function it is involved in planning organizing directing and controlling and also it is involved in procure procurement and uh, development and also maintenance of human resource like any other resources in an organization so uh, human resource organi uh, management which functions in three tier level so uh, uh, individual level organizational organizational level and uh, social level so these three tier uh, structure of uh, so these three tier structure is followed in uh, uh, human resource management and also human resource management it's a multidisciplinary subject uh, sorry for that mistake it's not mighty it's a multidisciplinary subject and uh, it includes the study of uh, management psychology and communication economics and sociology mainly the subset of sociology and psychology are uh, the major uh, subset or major uh, uh, disciplines contributed for human resource management in other words we call this as an in uh, words of henry foyal spread the corps team spread so these are importance of human resource management human resource management which facilitates the professional growth, growth and uh, it, it forms a better relation between union and management and it identifies person for the future not and right uh, or present time uh, we also need a person or recruiting a person for future orientation and also allocating the jobs to the right person and it improves economy so for all these reasons we need human resource management and finally uh, anything which comes or any concept it comes also with the challenges here in human resource management also we do have many challenges because uh, 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 like ma challenges like managing the vision company's vision should be oriented uh, to the uh, human resource but nowadays uh, people are gaining importance even though uh, some organizations still deny the human resource significance and also internal environment it's an uh, hurdle for uh, uh, human resource management effectively and uh, changing industrial relations and building organizational capacity or capability and uh, employee satisfaction computerization and uh, 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 like managing the large workforce these are the challenges which are coming but i took their challenges are uh, again uh, and a topic of interesting study so all these challenges are taken as an uh, uh, in an optimistic way by human resource management uh, these are uh, taken very uh, uh, very effectively or way taken into consideration by human resource management even nowadays work life balance and stress management become a hot topic and trendy topic in human resource management okay guys uh, today i'll uh, close this session by uh, summarizing we have seen so far objectives uh, characteristics and challenges of human resource management evolution and the definition of human resource management and uh, uh, we will see in uh, an another lecture video until then it's signing off i'm ganesh pandya thank you